Checkboxes can be used for user settings, for notification settings and every time if you want to toggle a state in your app. We want to build single checkboxes where one specific checkbox is toggled. And secondly, we create a group checkbox which toggles then multiple values at once. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with an our build method and here we want to create a single checkbox. And each checkbox has a value if it is set to true or set to false. And therefore we put within our state a boolean flag inside and this flag we simply put to our checkbox. And secondly, you need to implement the onChanged handler where we get then every time the new value of our checkbox. So if we click on it, then this value is true and we want to set then this value inside of our state. And with this, we update then this value, which is the value of our checkbox. And secondly, you need to wrap here the set state around so that the UI gets updated. And now we can try it out. I click on the checkbox, it is checked. And if I click again, then it is unchecked. If you want to change the background color of your checkbox, then you have here this property active color and I set it to red. And now if you hot reload, you see that our checkbox is in the red color. And also if you untick here the checkbox, then you see that it is here gray. And this is also what you can change. To change the color of the unchecked state, you need to go to your material app to the theme property. And here inside of our theme data, we want to add then this unselected widget color and I set it right now also to a color of red. And with this, our unchecked state also has a red color. Now we want to create next to our checkbox also a text. Therefore, we exchange our checkbox widget with a checkbox list tile. And secondly, you can supply within the title property a text widget. And now if you hot reload, you see we have here a single checkbox as a row and I can click here anywhere to actually change the checkbox state. If you want to display the checkbox here at the start, then you can also simply go to your checkbox list tile and here you have this control affinity property, which you set then to leading. And now if I hot reload, you see that the checkbox is going to the start. Furthermore, we want to create here multiple checkboxes and also a master or group checkbox with which you can toggle multiple checkboxes at once. Therefore, we create a new class checkbox state and here inside we have basically two fields, the title and the value and the title is then every time displayed here and the value is then if our checkbox is ticked or if it is not ticked. Back in our main file, we want to create then a list of these checkbox states. And here we basically create these four checkboxes and you don't need to create the value because we have set the value of the checkbox initially to false. And now based on this checkbox state, we want to create then four different checkboxes. To achieve this, we go to our current checkbox and we want to put the whole code inside of a new method build single checkbox and therefore I create a method and paste here exactly this code inside. And now you can basically duplicate here your checkbox and then you have your multiple checkboxes. The only problem is if I change the checkbox, then all of the checkbox are changed because all of them have the same value. And therefore we have created here this checkbox state so that we have for each of our checkboxes a separate value and a separate title. And now we want to use this checkbox state here inside of our build single checkbox method. Therefore, we want to build our checkbox based on the checkbox state. And instead of taking here the value of our state, we want to change it now to the checkbox value. And secondly, we also want to change here our title so that we have every time here an individual title based on our object. And now we can go here up and now we require here for each of our checkboxes a checkbox state. And therefore we simply replace all of our checkboxes and we map here over our notifications, which is then this list of checkbox states. And for each of these checkbox states, we want to create then a checkbox. And within our map function, we need to map then here one single checkbox state to a widget. And therefore we simply put here our build single checkbox method inside, which is basically converting a checkbox state to a widget. And now if I hot reload, you see we have here different checkboxes with all the different titles which we have defined before. However, if I click here on the checkbox, you see nothing will happen. And this is what we need to change. Therefore, we need to go here to our unchanged handler. 
And here, instead of changing our state value, which is here this value at the top, which we don't need anymore, we want to use instead here our checkbox value. And now we can try it again. So I click here on a checkbox and you see that each of our checkboxes has its individual state. Now we also want to create here a group checkbox, which then toggle multiple checkboxes at once. Therefore, we go to our build method and here on top of our current checkboxes, we want to build then a group checkbox. And under our group checkbox, we also want to include a divider so that we have here a separation between our group checkbox and our other checkboxes. And now we want to create first of all the state of our group checkbox and therefore we want to use here this checkbox state and we simply create here a new field with a checkbox state and put here then the title of our group checkbox inside. And now we want to use this state here inside of our group checkbox and therefore we create here a new method build group checkbox and this works basically 100% the same as our last checkbox. So I basically copied everything and the only thing what we are changing is the unchanged handler. Therefore, let's add here also this onChange property and here we create then a new method toggle group checkbox where we get then the value of our checkbox on which we have clicked. And with this, we have here this group checkbox at the top. The only thing what we need to do is to implement the functionality of it. Therefore, let's first of all check here that our value is not null. And if it is not null, then we want to put here this checkbox value inside of our checkbox state of this group checkbox. And to make this work, you also need to wrap the set state around so that the UI gets updated every time if you click here on this checkbox. And now you see that we basically toggle here the state of this single checkbox. However, what we want to accomplish is if we click on this group checkbox, that then all the other checkboxes are also checked or if we click again on it, that all of them are unchecked. To achieve this, we simply go to our toggle group checkbox method and here inside we want to set then all the notification checkboxes. And like you remember, this is then this list of all of our notifications, which are displayed here under it. And now we want to simply change here the state of each of these checkboxes. And therefore we get here each of these checkbox state and we set then each of these checkbox state values to the value of our current group checkbox. And this is everything what we need. So if I click here on this group checkbox, you see it is checked. And if I click again, then everything is unchecked. The only problem is if I click on this group checkbox and then I click here on one of the single checkboxes, you see that this is not unchecked again and this is what we need to change. To fix this, we go to our build single checkbox method. And here, every time, if we then click on one of our single checkboxes, then we actually want to also change here our master checkbox. And like you remember, our master checkbox is here this field all notifications and our other checkboxes is this field notifications. Therefore, let's go back to this unchanged handler of our single checkbox. And here we want to change then our all notifications value, which is our master checkbox value. And we want to simply check here if all of our other checkboxes have then a true value inside. So all in all, this checks here that all of our notification values are set to true. So basically you can also write here true and this means exactly the same. And if everything is true, then also our master checkbox is true. However, if we then deselect here now one of our checkboxes, then this is here false. And then also our master checkbox will also have the state false and is untoggled. And if I click again on this single checkbox, you see that our master checkbox is again checked. And with this, you have learned how you can create here single checkboxes and also a master checkbox or group checkbox to check multiple values. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!